All right, thank you, Joe. Time now is 916. Need help finding all the right resources? Well, the Community Resource Fair is just a week from this Saturday, and here to tell us all about it are Jacob and Juliana. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. No problem. So, obviously, with an event like this, networking is key. So kind of take us through uh, some of the nuts and bolts of uh, what's going on. Yes. So we first started planning this in August of this last year. Mm -hmm. um, we contacted originally 33 vendors wow. um, and ended up with only 10, which is fine. You know, still better than anything. Okay. Um, our goal for this project is to bring the community out, educate them on resources that they may or may not known existed, mm -hmm. uh, along with allowing the vendors to offer their services and resources to those individuals um, and create a client intake at that time as well. One word that that is key is free and yes. so I know when people come out yes. uh, they're getting these resources that are free, free yes. and available to them so kind of tell us what's out there now. yes so we'll be joined by Peoria Proud uh, Central Illinois friends they will possibly have a mobile unit there okay. um, that will provide their HIV STD and STI testing um, they'll also have their um, advocates in our the auditorium as well with us um, showing the table um, we'll have a Mago D Church um, the Illinois Department on Aging will have um, Lutheran Social Services Prairie State we're gonna have them all so it's gonna be a bunch of fun so I think it's important to have events like this because yes. a lot of times you know people are just saying well just go online and Google yes but having all of them in one spot it makes you know, it really so convenient out. yes for sure and then getting their questions answered on the spot and getting information I think that's the key to success right there so now what went into the whole process of hey let's put this whole thing together um well we actually um have a lot of referrals that come through us on social media we point people in the right direction and one of our team members actually brought it up and said you know thought it was a good idea since we offer and tell people about so many resources um to do a community resource fair now is this the first time if you put this on or? yes this will be our first one uh, oh. we actually have a second one in springfield in february of 2023 okay. uh, we'll be joined by other vendors as well and then we're planning one for may of 2023 so I'm sure as we're getting close to that date, I mean, yes. you're still trying to, you know, fine-tune everything and yes. dot the I's, cross the T's? <laughs> yes, correct, yeah. <laughs> we're working every day to make sure it's right, so. If anyone has uh, any questions or information about attending, how can they uh, get a hold of you? Uh, yes, they can message us on our Facebook page. They can also get in touch with us um, at our crisis line, which is area code 217-216-5550. Um, we'll be in the lower level auditorium of the Peoria Public Library main branch on December 10th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, it is free. You can also visit our website at centralillinoispride.org. All right. We appreciate you stopping by. And, of course, if you or someone you know would love to join us here on 25 News Good Morning, all you need to do is go to 25newsnow.com slash community. Go to the 25 News Good Morning tab. Submit the form. We'll get you on.